Disclaimer, this video reveals secrets about McKimmy Manor. Secrets they don't want you to know about. McKimmy Manor has even decided to sue me because I found out what's really going on. This video is for educational and documentary purposes only. I'm going to start this video just by calling up McKamey Manor just to see why they're suing me because they still haven't given me a reason yet. He's not available. Dang it. They didn't answer. Well, I guess I'll just find out tomorrow. He's not available. He's not available. He's not available. No. So McKamey Manor is avoiding me. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to move on to plan B. Plan B is I'm going to hack into Russ McKamey's phone. Once I'm in, I'm going to use his phone number to call Kelly. Kelly's the one who's been sending me all these threatening voice messages. You seem like you're very fucking lost. Once I hack into Russ's phone, I'm going to get the real inside scoop of what's really going on. Hey, how's it going, Kelly? Good. Hey, this isn't Russ. This is actually Ben. I was just trying to figure out a way to get a hold of you. Um, yeah, how are you using Russ's number? You weren't answering me from my number, so the only way to contact you is literally just to hack into Russ's number. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Someone's not answering the phone. You don't hack into somebody else's number. We have lawyers that we worked with. I'm not going to delve any deeper into that. Nope. The only thing I learned from this phone call is that they're sending lawyers after me, but they have no reason to send them. She can't give me a reason because at the end of the day, I didn't do anything illegal. They're just mad that I showed Russ this video of his arch nemesis, the wolf. All right, this message is for Russ McKamey. But I'll be honest, this video was not a good video for Russ. It completely calls him out on the scam that he's running. You want my hate group shut down? I will be more than happy to shut it down, prove, a piece of the manor. McKinney Manor is real. All you have to do is hold a live rat. You can do that. I will shut down for good and you never have to hear about me again. Like his really his one request is you like hold a rat, I guess. But I mean, how easy is that? The reason that he's turning this situation into a lawsuit is, well, first he wasn't able to show a rat, so he looks stupid. But the main reason he wants to sue me is that this happened on his live stream. So now his entire audience has now seen that he's running a scam. I was hoping that this would incentivize him to finally come out and admit to the scam he's running, but instead he's decided to sue me. And I'm honestly having a lot of fun just trying to get them to give me a reason why. I came up with a foolproof way to take down the hater group, and now you guys are blocking me from the McKinney Manor page and threatening me with lawyers? Okay, well... All Russ had to do was show a rat. After probably an hour of this back and forth, they finally gave me a reason of why they're suing me. There's massive contracts and big things coming out between Hulu, um... I don't think that reason will ever hold up in court, but she is correct when she says that a bunch of big budget documentaries are going to come out this Halloween. And I know this because they even tried to get me involved. Yeah, Russ has somehow tricked the entire media into believing his lies, and now they're afraid of me and my YouTube budget coming out with the real truth. So the only way to keep his scam alive is to sue me. Even if there's nothing to sue me for, suing people has just always been Russ's main way to keep people quiet. Before Russ put the cameras on, Russ did threaten me um, a $50,000. All it was lies. It was all lies. This is how the scam works. Pretty much anyone who finds out what's really going on gets threatened with a $50,000 lawsuit. And Russ's scare tactics have always worked because everyone who finds out the truth is forced to lie and say, Awesome. I'm really glad I did this. I ended up reaching out to this girl, and this is what she said the experience was really like. Why did I do this? Dude, you fucked up my life. Getting my head shaved really sucked. That, like, fucked with my self-image. I, I saw a video of you online saying, uh, you're like, I'm so happy that I have short hair. I think every woman should do this. I've always kind of wanted to shave my head. This feels so great. It's so cool. Well, he asked me to and like just kind of scripted out the dumb shit and games I fell for and played. Like, I feel like I never get to live that down ever. I'm just always going to be the idiot who like Russ lied to and I like no. I bought into his game. That's this whole thing seems to be just a big game for us. A game of manipulation. Russ is by far one of the most manip manipulative men, even human beings. And so far, 
Russ always seems to be at least one step ahead of everyone else. Do you now or have you ever felt threatened in any way? Absolutely not. Nope. No way. So my plan is to do whatever it takes to put me one step ahead of Russ. One thing, and not to undermine what you're doing, I think it's important, but like other, lots of people have tried to expose McKinney Manor before. Like uh -huh. I, I've seen this a lot of times. It doesn't work. Like this lie, this, this mystique he's made is way bigger than that. So it looks like I'm gonna have to really think outside of the box if I wanna beat Russ at this game. The first step of my plan was right before I signed his contract, I changed the penalty from $50,000 to $1, a price that's much easier for me to pay. But this is just the beginning of me turning the tables on Russ because I have a 10 step plan. And the second step is already working perfectly, which was actually not to hack Russ's phone, but to manipulate him into thinking that I hacked his phone. I'm, I'm really concerned about you hacking into my phone. That's illegal to do that. You understand, right? The reality is, is that I just went to the Apple App Store and downloaded an app. It's one of those apps that like probably nine-year-olds use to prank their friends. Yeah, Russ is experiencing his own mind games. How do you like the taste of your own medicine? What else have you hacked into? Man, this is serious. If you're hacking into people's personal stuff, have you, have you hacked into anything else? Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. Yeah, I was shocked I was able to pull it off also. I gaslighted him so hard. So hard, in fact, that he's finally now going to give me a legal reason of why he's suing me. So listen to this terrible crime that I've committed. If something does come out, if you use the name, you will be hit with trademark infringement, copyright. Wait. They're trying to get me on a technicality? Basically, they're like, McKamey Manor's a trademarked name. We own that name. So if you say that word in your YouTube video that we can sue you for trademark infringement. <laughs> yeah, the man who tortures people and blackmails them is suing me because I said the name of his company. I guess in his eyes, I'm the one who's doing the illegal activity. I'm pretty sure this is something we all learned in first grade, but uh, we have this thing in America called the Bill of Rights. And the First Amendment, it's the first one, says we have the freedom of speech. So boom, I am allowed to say your company name. But it's not this easy of a win. I mean, Russ does have himself pretty well covered. That's Russ has awesome. been so silent, but Kelly's been sending me all these like voice messages and stuff. And he's kind of the mastermind, but he's not doing any of the work. He just drives around. He didn't torture anybody there. He had he had these hired people that would do all the punching and the taping. And he would sit there and be like, "Hey, I'm innocent. I'm not doing anything. It's these guys that are doing it." Hey. I think that's kind of like a, a safety precaution for him too. Like he's in this bubble. If he's not actually doing it, he don't have to deal with the consequences. He just gets other people to do everything for him. He's kind of helpless without these other people. Russ covers himself by not specifically doing anything illegal himself, but he has all his brainwashed employees do his dirty work for him. And I say brainwashed because let's take Kelly for example. Even though Kelly's in charge of all of the business from Akami Manor, she actually believes that the haunted house is real. She genuinely thinks there's a two mile long zip line in there and that thousands of rats were gonna fall on me the second I entered the haunted house. When you do rat race, the clock starts. Mice will then fall on you. Yeah, Kelly has no clue that this is actually all McKamey Manor is, and everything else is a lie. So you're saying if we could de-brainwash Kelly, then Russ literally just wouldn't be able to, like, operate McKamey Manor. It's gonna be really hard to de-brainwash her, but I mean, yeah, without those people, I think he'd just be, like, pretty much, he couldn't do anything, really. Dang. That leads us to step three. Take away everything Russ has by de-brainwashing his brainwashed employees. I finally convinced the main moderator of McKamey Manor, the main moderator of the McKamey Manor hate page to all get on a Facebook Live with me. You, the, yourself, you yourself went through rat race. You went through- I didn't make it. I, I made it zero seconds in the rat race okay. though. I didn't make it to rat race. But, okay. That's one side, but obviously there's two sides. So for Russ's side, let's hold a rat and then we can be, oh, see, it does exist. You shouldn't make it there, Ben, you know, and then. Uh... This is an interesting point because Kelly was watching the live stream where Russ got exposed. But for some reason, Kelly's still a little hesitant to believe what she saw that day. In your opinion, in your honest opinion, does Russ have live rats? I mean, I don't know what's back there. I don't know. I can't answer it. I, I can't say one way or the other. Eh, that's okay. There's a ton more proof out there that McKimmy Manor doesn't exist. He said he has a two mile zip line. We did look up the largest zip line in the United States. And cause you have to legally register once you have a big zip line and it's only 
a mile long and we called them and they said they weren't uh they had no clue who russ mccain I, was so. oh okay i mean that's what else do you need to say <laughs> i told you exactly what i've said here today if you go ahead and start putting stuff up on youtube that's trademarked or copyrighted we're gonna send our legal team Ah, now I know what people are talking about when they say McKimmy Manor is a cult. It's just like a cult. Just like a fucking cult. I mean, I've experienced my fair share of cults, and I mean, Kelly's probably the most brainwashed cult member I've ever come across. So there's only really one thing that I can think of doing now. No saying McKimmy Manor in any of our uh, YouTube videos. No. Okay. You can't. I was curious about how they were going to try to enforce this. So later that day, I uploaded the first episode of the McKimmy Manor series to the internet, where I say the trademarked word McKimmy Manor over 20 times. McKimmy Manor. Manor. Yeah. Well, the video's posted. The only thing left to do now is just to sit back and wait for them to sue me. And the phone call finally came. And let me tell you, they were not happy that I said the words McKimmy Manor. You're breaching laws by doing what you did. You had no right to do that whatsoever. A claim being filed for $30,000. That's one thing that's going to happen. Ben, it's not going to work out for you. Okay, the first thing is that's not how trademark works. I'm not pretending to be you. I just said your company name. The only way you guys would have a case against me is if for some reason I decided to create my own company called McKamey Manor like this. I just created my own company called McKamey Manor. And uh, if you don't believe me, go to www.mckameymanor.org. Check it out. We're live. Did you guys do this? <laughs> you guys did this. Dude, that's fucking amazing. What's the legal loophole? Because you own mckameymanor.org? Well, it, it, this doesn't protect us from getting sued. This is actually just more of a reason for him to sue us. Ah, okay, fine. I thought that the other McKamey Manor should probably know about our company called McKamey Manor. So I hit up a secret agent that I have secretly hidden inside their Facebook page. And I want to post my commercial in their Facebook page. Hopefully I don't get banned for this. Dude. I'd like to introduce to you the new company I just created, McKamey Manor LLC. A company all about promoting animals. The thing about our company is we're not afraid to show what type of animals we promote. But at McKamey Manor, our favorite animal is the rat. We got rat shirts, mugs, pillows, jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, pretty much the entire company is just selling products based off of rats. But the rats are important. It's actually the entire reason I plan on legally getting away with this. I think it'll be easier to understand if we look at a similar scenario. Do you guys remember when Disney made the movie Frozen? Even though Frozen was already a trademarked name by the Anchor Bay Entertainment Company. Disney was able to get away with this because of a clause called the Likelihood of Confusion. The clause states that as long as no one's gonna confuse the two movies with each other, then they're both allowed to have the same name. So let's take this same logic and apply it to our McKamey Manor companies. Technically, you still can sue us, Russ. All you have to do is convince the public that our company is copying yours. To do that, we've actually made it very easy for you. All you have to do is show the world that you own one rat from uh, your stunt rat race, which you claim you have thousands of rats. So once you can show the world a rat, the world will see that we are in fact copying you and suing us will be a piece of cake. Isn't that right, Emu? It got approved. Yes! Sick. Okay, nice. I wonder what they're gonna yeah. say. I don't know. For the next week, McKamey Manor completely ghosted me. You're overstepping your boundaries. If you use my number again, I'm having you arrested for impersonating. Stop this. Dang it. I guess it's the last time I can call Kelly, because otherwise I'm getting arrested. I didn't get arrested, but they also didn't answer. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. If I want to get their attention, I'm going to have to do something drastic. I decided to make a new video called Infiltrating McKimmy Manor, Episode 2, which contains undeniable proof for any of the moderators that watch that McKimmy Manor is definitely a scam. Not long after I posted the video, it got deleted because Russ's group spam reported it. For this video, we got one of them taken down. But it wasn't a total fail because Cecil, the guy in my last video, who's Russ's biggest helper. You haven't got there yet. What can you not understand? He ended up reaching out to Danny and I. My kids have seen what y'all YouTube and I just wanted to clear my name that uh, I've left everything. I promise y'all can look it up. I am no longer 
part of it. I'm not in the group. I'm not uh, on the page. I'm not nothing. But not only that, Kelly finally answered my call. Hello. Oh, hey, how's it going, Kelly? <laughs> well, the conclusion is, is we're going by what the law says. So let's look up the legal McKinney Manor company info. The records show that it was filed in 2015 and you guys used to own it until it got suspended. So I went ahead and refreshed the page. And what's this? It, there's a new owner now. The owner's name is Ben Schneider, which is me. Yeah, I just legally stole your company name. So if this does go to court, a court would say that you guys are now the ones copying me. So I decided to tell Kelly about this. That's a big trademark issue right there because the- Ben, yeah, you guys just show a rat and then you guys will sue the heck out of us. Cause then we would be then then we'd be copying you guys. So yeah, well, I don't know if we're gonna do all of that. So now that we've made it this easy for you guys, now you guys don't want to sue us. Ben. It seems like the easier I make it for them, the more upset they get. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it even easier and basically hand you a free pass around this rat situation. The instructions are in this video, which I'm also uploading to the McKamey Manor official page. You guys are doing a pretty bad job at suing us, so I've decided to give you guys a freebie. The part where you guys are currently stuck is you, you can't prove that our company is copying yours. So I've went ahead and made a second company called Ben's Basement, which also got approved and is now a real functioning company. For the last couple weeks, I've been using Ben's Basement to pretty much exactly copy you guys. Our contestant has arrived. We really don't want to do this. So the rules are if you can make it 10 hours through this warehouse, you win $20,000. We have a two mile long zip line in there. We have a two miles. This key opens the door and I can only give it to you if you can beat this computer in chess. So every time you lose a piece, we, you will, we will be shocking you. It took another oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. We've done nothing yet. You're Maybe. one of the worst contestants we've ever had. Oh, 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 oh you lost. Dude, just let me do the zip line at least. Like I'm here, right? I flew in like. Yes, I created an exact copy of what you guys are doing, which completely breaks the likelihood of confusion clause. So if you decide to sue Ben's basement, you will for sure win. But by doing that, you would have to admit that you show people a warehouse that you're not even the owner of. There's 80 different activities we can do once we're inside. You lie to them about how to get inside by forcing them to do an impossible activity that they're never going to accomplish. Oh, easy, that was so easy. easy. Wait, look at that. That was the whole oh! I didn't plan out what to do if they actually beat the computer. Then my, then my little batteries just come on. Hold on one second now. Unmuted? Oh, yeah, just my little batteries just come on. Uh, it kind of looked like you guys weren't mentally okay, so I had to pull you guys out. But if you're brave enough to admit that this is actually the scam you're running, then legally, I think you actually would be able to sue us. And the clock is slowly running out for your time left to sue us, because if you don't act fast, you're gonna be in some big trouble. If you're wondering what trouble you're in, well, for me to explain, we're gonna have to go back to the beginning before I even entered McKimmy Manor. Now that the onesie's on, it's real, dude. I was promised that after my McKimmy Manor attempt, you would go out and get pizza with me. It's now time for pizza. So, uh, yeah. pizza? <laughs> Yeah, we can meet up someplace. But what I wasn't expecting was for Russ to immediately change his mind. I'll have to, I'll have to say no tonight for me, unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Russ completely backed out on the pizza he promised me. And I'm determined to get this pizza. So I created a legal contract saying that the next time I show up to McKamey Manor, he's not allowed to back out of getting pizza. Further agreeing to share a meal at a specified pizza place. I hid this contract deep inside Danny's McKamey Manor NDA clause. There's probably a few of you out there thinking this is just an irrelevant side tangent. And you guys could not be more wrong. I can't really say why right now because Russ's spies are currently watching. But just know that once Russ gets pizza with us, it's game over for McKamey Manor. But anyways, after Danny's tour, what can you not understand? We now brought up to Russ that he is legally obligated to get pizza with us. Well, you pizza I with am, us? Chris. No. I'm just not in a pizza mood right now. No, you understand, right? Didn't you sign that we're getting pizza though? Isn't it like legally <laughs> contracting that we have to get pizza afterwards? Legally, we gotta get pizza. Uh, I don't know, maybe later on, guys. Maybe later on. Right later now, on? I got. Right now, I gotta just kind of chill out. That's a breach of contract if you don't get pizza with us. There you go. 
It's over, yo. There's my breach what? of contract. Russ decided to completely go against the contract he signed. You're a great contract, not get pizza? Not today. Not today. Not today. Oh, God. All right. But I am not going to give up on getting pizza with Russ no matter what. Because getting pizza is probably the most important and one of the final steps on taking down McKamey Manor. I will not stop at anything until Russ decides to get pizza with me. So what I'm going to do next, I think will finally change Russ's mind. And I'm going to upload one more warning video to the official McKamey Manor Facebook page. Hello. This is a message for Russ McKamey. Hiding is no longer your best option. In fact, it's actually now your worst option. You see, I've assembled a fierce sleeper cell of secret agents that will sign up for your tours every single week. You will not be able to distinguish them and the actual victims that sign up for your haunted house. It could be anyone. Each person will be specifically trained to show your live audience that what you're running is a scam. Okay, there was, there was okay, stuff in the Danny, stop. Danny, stop. Danny, stop. Danny, stop. But what is the next sleeper agent that I've signed up gonna do? You'll never know. Honestly, uh, there should be nothing for you to worry about, though. I mean, you do have a 20,000 person waiting list, so the one person I sign up every week should honestly just be nothing more than a needle in a haystack. So if you're telling the truth, you have nothing to worry about. But if you are lying about how long the waiting list is, then you are in for the treat of your life. Week after week, you'll continue to get exposed by my undercover guests until you fulfill my one simple request. Agree to eat pizza with me, Russ. That's literally my only request. Just eat pizza with me. I'll even pay for it, Russ. I, I will literally pay for the pizza. Well, it's up. Now we just have to wait and see what they say. And... I know this video was a lot, guys, and there's even a ton more extra stuff that I filmed that I didn't have time to put in this video. And if you want to see everything else, then you can watch it on my Patreon, because I'm going to be releasing a full video every single day of the week, including our full McKimmy Manor debate, Russ freaking out on me that I hacked into his phone, the full Ben's basement tours, McKimmy Manor trying to explain trademark law to me, and people's stories who have actually gone through McKimmy Manor. So make sure to subscribe. I bought a t-shirt, by the way. From McKimmyManor.org? <laughs> yeah. I think you probably are our first customer. That's funny.